Depending on the floor surface, a firefighter may have to make a purchase point using the pick end of the halogen tool, striking the floor multiple times to create a divot. Then turn the tool around to the fork end, place the fork end in the divot along with the adds and tipped end against the wall. Then turn your body sideways, place one of the feet at the end of where the fork is placed, and then draw your other leg up onto the top of the adds end of your tool. The bottom foot acts as a brace so the tool won't slide out from underneath your feet and the top foot will go on the step part of the tool. Keep in mind you need to create a good stepping angle. You then will use both arms and reach up gripping onto the window sill. Now all at once you will pull up with your arms while sliding the forked end foot along the shaft or handle of the tool. This will apply pressure to the tool so it won't slide out from underneath your foot. While driving your body upward and forward in through the window you will try to get your forearms on that windowsill. Once you get your forearms on that windowsill, you will then wiggle yourself to where you can get to your hips. Once you've gotten your hips on the windowsill, you've basically gotten through. As you come out through the other side of the window, you will kick both legs out to the side or swing them to catch yourself to ensure that you can walk your hands out on the surface of the other side of the window. Exit the window in a controlled manner where you'll walk your hands forward, where your feet will walk out the windowsill and down the wall. Again, with a different tool, same actions apply. With the flathead axe, you will take it and create a purchase point. Striking your floor surface multiple times, you will then take the flathead part of the axe and place it in the divot that you've created. And the top of the handle will again go against the wall. Again, keeping in mind that you need a good stepping angle. Then position the body where you can get the top part of your foot where you cover a good surface area of the top handle of the axe as well as placing the bottom foot acting as an anchor so once again the tool will not slide out from underneath. You then will reach up with both arms ensuring that you have a good grip on the windowsill. Then in one motion you will pull up with the arms Using the spike end or pick end of the halogen tool, you will turn sideways and make a baseball type swing approximately at crotch height. You will drive the spiked end into the drywall, then take your foot and drive it forward so that the adds end is, is now flush to the wall, ultimately creating a nice step. Then reaching up with the hands, grab and grip the window sill, where then you will step up onto the ads end, pulling yourself up forward and out through the window where you'll get your forearms again on the windowsill, and get your hips to the windowsill, swinging your legs out to the side, again making sure that your hands can reach the ground. Once that's achieved, walk your hands out. Using your webbing, this is a demo of how you will exit a basement window without a BA. First, create a loop where you will then put your foot in the and take your hand and draw the webbing up towards the windowsill, pulling the leg up, creating a big step. You will then have to mark the top part of the webbing to create that grip on the windowsill. So in doing so, you will wrap it around your hand two, three times, specifically your palm area, so that when you reach up at the windowsill, your fingers will be able to grip around that sill. Reach up with both hands, get a good grip on the windowsill, pulling with hands, drive yourself up, stepping into the loop, upwards and forward into the windowsill, putting yourself to your forearms, and then eventually wiggling yourself so that you can swing your legs out to the side, yet again making sure that your hands can get to the ground. Then simply walk your hands forward while having your feet follow in behind you, walking along the windowsill and down the wall. The last self-rescue technique is using the webbing along with wearing your BA. We did it many times where it proved to be difficult wearing the BA, so we came up with a solution, taking the BA off by keeping your face piece and regulator intact. First step would be to loosen all straps while undoing your chest 
and waist belt. Then go to your webbing. You're going to do the same procedure as the video before. You will put your foot in the loop. You will draw the webbing up to the windowsill. You will mark, draw the hand back down. Then you will make two or three loops around your palm. and then proceed to take your SCBA pack off. First with the right shoulder, sliding the hand through and your webbing, and then going to your left shoulder strap, which is your air supply line. We refer to it as left for life. And you make sure you control this strap. When you place it up into the window, you will then feel for the ground with your BA, again controlling your line, your air supply line, and you will gently lie it down, preferably off to a corner. Then you will take your marked webbing, place your foot back in the loop, draw both hands up to the windowsill, gain a good grip, then thrust forward and upwards out through the window 